once you've got your font downloaded, you're going to go ahead and select that font for to assign to this particular text box. And I'm going to get my character here. We're going to pretend that I created a font, so we're just going to do that. I want to make sure it's applied to this whole text right here. So um, I'm going to do that. And I kind of liked this sample here. Okay, so now I want to give the font a name. I So in this case, I'm going to call this Swift Write. That's the name of my font. It's kind of descriptive of the font. Up here, I'm going to want to type my name. You can leave that font as it is. And finally, you want to convert the text that says the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. You want to just change this over to your font that you created. Um, the reason you want to do this is because that this particular sentence reflects um, every um, letter in the alphabet. And so this allows you to show off your font and see how effective it is as a font. So once I have all of that done, I now have my example and I'm, this is what I'm going to turn in. So I'm going to go up to File. First of all, I'm going to save this. I think it's a good idea to save it. And then I'm going to go to export as, or ex, for you guys it's just export, and I'm going to change this to a JPEG. And I'm going to use the artboards, check that box, and I'm going to say Swift Write Font. And then I'm going to click export, and I want to make sure it's RGB, quality is 10, and the resolution is 300. Once I hit that and hit OK, that file that I just saved is going to be the one that I am going to upload to Google Classroom to the assignment that we have here, the design of font. And that's it.